exciting stuff, isn't it? With me, as you see, is Amalia Marine. Amalia just had the opportunity to translate for Charlene and Pastor Godai. You got an opportunity to see her in action. Amalia is a member of our board, resides in Phoenix, Arizona. We are so glad that you're here with us today. Now, Amalia has been in several mission trips, most recently to Takna, Peru. Amalia, what is it like to do both speaking and translating? How are those roles different? Are you saying I have a split personality? <laughs> I would never say that. <laughs> Actually, it's a lot of fun. It's high energy, very intense, very tiring. I always lose weight on those mission trips. Oh. So if you have a few extra pounds you want to shed, consider going on the next mission trip. <laughs> But, but actually, it's, it's very exciting, and I always get so much out of it. Personally, and as a missionary, you just can't top that. That's you can't right. top it. That's right. That's right. So tell me, I'm sure that you have hundreds of stories. Can you pick just one and share with us? Sure. Uh, in Takna, I think Bill alluded to this earlier, we would get up very, very early in the morning. Pastor would come pick us up, and we'd go do home visitations because it was the only time that we could reach the people in their homes, 5 o'clock in the morning. So by 4.45, usually, our car was there, and we'd take off. Wow. And um, we'd always take someone with us, one of the local Bible workers who had experience with these people and had already prepared them for baptism or had been studying with them for a while. Mm -hmm. So we went this one morning. As I was getting ready to go, I saw my flashlight on the nightstand, and I had the mental impression, take your flashlight. I thought, what am I going to take a flashlight for? But I said, okay, I'll take it, and I put it in my bag. We went to the visitation. The gentleman was very kind. He turned on the lights for us. We sat in the living room. We talked. He had not been to the church since his youth. He married a woman who was not Adventist when he got married to her. Later, because of his testimony, she was converted, but he pulled away from the church and hadn't gone to church in many, many years. Their children grew up in the church, and he still would not go to church. He worked for the government, and I think there was a Sabbath issue. Long story short, we're making an appeal. We're inviting him to come back to the church, to come back to the Lord, to join his family. His wife wisely was listening in the bedroom. She would not come out with us, as all wise women do. We know when to keep silent. And so we're making the appeal, and guess what? The lights went out. Not just at that house, all over the city. We didn't know that every Sunday morning the lights went out all over the city. But they went out when we're just at the height of our appeal. But guess what? I had my flashlight. So I took it out of my bag, turned it on, lit up the living room, and we continued our appeal. Oh. She came out of the bedroom. He made a commitment to begin his journey back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh. It was so exciting. What an inspiring story of letting your light shine. Oh, amen. <laughs> amen. 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 So what brings you back time after time to quiet our mission trips? The people. The, the people, people. That, that are changed for eternity because we've made the sacrifice to go and tell them the story of Jesus' love for them. It's the people. And it's Jesus Christ, how he touched my heart one day, that's how I want to touch the lives of other people. And through the quiet hour, we can do it. People of all different nationalities, different uh, abilities, different life experiences, we all come together under the banner of Jesus Christ, and we go to these countries and share our love for them and for Jesus. It's life-changing. I love it. I'll always do this. I can tell. I can tell. Amalia has been doing this for most of your life, right? Adult life. Been adult life, been involved in mission work. I can tell you that when you go on a mission trip, it changes you. It just does. Amalia, thank you so much for sharing with us your testimony, you. for being a missionary for thank the Lord. Thank you.